Let's get straight to that draw of the last 16 of the UEFA Cup. Can we get an easy side? Maybe. Oh, we don't want Celtic, not a domestic team. Thankfully, I avoided them. And we've got Atletico Madrid. I think that could be a tough draw, although by the looks of things, there aren't too many easy teams left here. Everybody obviously wanting to be drawn against us. Let's have a look at this Atletico Madrid side. Oh, we have a very young Colacini, 21 years old, look how good he is. Cosman Contra, not really familiar with him. Fernando Carrilla, Pandiani, hmm. Uh, oh, we've got Torres there, a very young Torres. Yeah, and oh, Timoshuk, yeah. Um, yeah, they're a pretty good team. First leg doesn't take place for another three months, however. Hmm. Anyway, let's check in on our bank balance, see if we have broke that 10 million mark yet after that UEFA Cup game. And we have. We'll be jumping into that money pile like Scrooge McDuck. Up next, we have Clyde at home in the league. If we win this game, we can go 17 points clear of St Johnston, with all the other teams having played yesterday. I make the usual changes after a UEFA Cup game, throwing in all the kind of reserve and youngsters with just Barbosa remaining left mid, I really need to get some cover there, and Smart coming back from an injury once again so I'm giving him some game time. Millie with a hat trick and Barbosa also getting on the score sheet, we win 4-0, putting ourselves 17 points clear of St Johnston after having played 17 games. It's League Cup quarter final time away to Dundee United and this is becoming somewhat of an annual meeting in this competition it seems between us two. After destroying Sport and Lisbon in the UEFA Cup you'd be forgiven for thinking this is just a formality and well, I hope you're right. The team facing off against Dundee United is Royce and Goal, back four of Johansson, Hancock, Haywood and Carlisle. Midfield is Barbosa, Whitley, Millie and Vicari. And up front we have Fabrini and Suffo. The only real standout change from this typical first 11 is Millie making it in midfield after that hat trick. I think he deserves a place. Hopefully he'll go on to bag a goal or two for us. Oh, it's a, it's a very cold minus one degree Celsius with light snow in the park. Who will that hinder more? Um. I'd like to think we play better football than Dundee United, so possibly us. Not really sure. Not really sure the effect that weather has on on your tactics, really. I don't know in the, the older champmans uh, whether it does affect play really at all. And if it does affect play, what kind of percentage does it affect? Like, should you be changing to a long ball system and have your team sitting deep instead of being high up the park? But I won't be changing anything because I'm a very lazy manager. In case anyone's wondering, we had no trouble in the changing rooms this time at Tannadice Park. Shia Booth has eventually been removed. I.e. I couldn't think of um, any more stuff to do with him. As of yet, he may make an appearance down the line. Maybe. One day. If I can think of anything to use them for, because I've got a lot of Shia LaBeouf green screen footage that that uh, could be of some use. And Millie's picked up a knock. Uh, well, I've got Polios. Polios was going to be my first choice, or would usually be my first choice there uh, in the, the, the kind of big, big-ish games. So it's not a huge deal, but yeah. I'm not having fun right now with the injuries, it's not too many, but Smart continually gets injured and Millie looked as if he was coming on to some form with that hat trick in the last game and yeah, off injured. And it's a goal for Dundee United. Craig Easton coming up with a header. This isn't going to plan. Come on guys. We see, I mean, it's been qu quite even. Hamilton, they're playing Jim Hamilton. 
I used to always rely on big strong forwards when I played this originally like 14 years ago. And Jim Hamilton is a, a player I would always try and sign after a season or two for Dumbarton. Thinking, oh he's strong, his finishing's like 12 or something, but oh he's, he's, his heading and strength is brilliant so yeah get him signed. Yes, right on half time. Suffo equalises with a header, I'm pretty sure that was. So we've got two, two headers. Craig Easton scoring the first for Dundee United, but we equalised just on the half time whistle, basically. 11,166 at the game today. Not a bad turnout, really. Polios, I think that was another headed goal. Polios coming up with his fifth goal of the season. And what a time to score it. 2-1 to East Stirling. Not bad. And I might be seeing things, maybe I'm seeing things, but Whitley had just scored with a header. I'm pretty sure every single goal so far has been scored with a head. Dundee United absolutely falling apart from basically half time onwards. Uh, we should be able to see this one out unless there's some sort of weird collapse. I got picked up by yellow. Don't like my defenders picking up yellows. I mentioned in the other video that I was um, planning on playing Chapman 0203 for the Xbox. I've actually played through a full season of it. Um, you might think, oh, I take it you played through the full season as he's still in. I'm, no, I felt like doing something different. Played through a full season as Bristol Rovers. I was about to say Bristol City, that's not right. 4 1 now. Absolutely brushing on my side now. Who was who got the fourth goal? I can't actually see. Oh, Polios again. I wonder if it was with the head. And I played through a, a full season and really enjoyed it. Like, it actually plays really well on the Xbox. I will be doing some sort of video review retrospective thing. I'm just waiting on a cable coming in so as I can record it from the Elgato and get some decent-ish looking footage. But yeah, it plays brilliant on it. They've mapped it out very well on the controller. Was that <sighs> Whitley? A great, was that a great left hook or something that came up there? What an absolute tool. Thankfully we've already done enough to win this game. So let's put, yeah, we'll just, we'll put Piri Barbosa, he can play centre mid anyway. Uh, yeah, and Cowan can come on for Hancock just in case he decides to get a, no, a bit fist happy. But yeah. Um, sometime in the future, near future, I won't give any sort of date, but I will be putting out a video on the Chapman 0203 for the Xbox, for anyone that is possibly waiting on that. Uh, it's really good. It plays, not obviously it doesn't play as well as this, but it it's mapped very well to the controller and yeah, good stuff. Right, 4-1, Rangers won their game and Celtic won theirs. Which means we have Celtic in the semi-final of the League Cup. More possible giant killing on the horizon then. Back to league matters and we are away to St Johnston who are second so we can possibly extend our lead here. As my players are quite tired from the cup game I make a few changes. Just here in the centre of midfield, Falch and Mato Buena coming in and Smart coming in for Suffolk up front. We win the game 6-2, Barbosa, Fabrini scoring twice, Smart, Vicari and Suffo all getting on the score sheet. That win puts us 20 points clear of St Johnston. A week later we are at home to Alloa. Once again I chop and change the side, giving everyone a chance for a game really. And we go on to win eventually 5-3, scoring right at the death there. We have Barlow scoring twice, Falch, Barbosa and Dennis all scoring a goal. Yeah, it was quite a tough wee game actually. And we hold our 20 point lead over St Johnston. Hearts out of nowhere make a £325,000 offer for Peary. That is just under his minimum fee release clause. So I go about making... Hmm, trying to make Hearts offer around a million. Maybe even the £1.4 I really don't want Gary Wales, but I'm wanting that value. 
let's see, it's 475 is his minimum fee. So, yeah, hopefully we can get more than that for him. Crystal Palace still chasing after Kerr, and Hearts come back with an actual straight swap. I don't want Gary Whale, so nope, I can reject that, even though his value is over a million and exceeds the 475 minimum fee. The minimum fee only pertains to cash value. So we keep a hold of Perry for now, and yeah, annoyingly doesn't want to sign a new contract so I can get rid of that minimum fee. Damn you. But we get to hold on to him for now. Next up, another league game away to Partick Thistle this time. And I'm kinda surprised to see them sit ninth in the league. Although not too surprised as we go on to beat them eventually 5-2. Barbosa, Johansson scoring twice, Whitley, Fabrini and then two minutes later Fabrini getting himself sent off. <sighs> Typical for my team it seems. And we have now played 20 games in the league and are 20 points ahead of St Johnston. It's time for the Scottish Cup third round draw and we are drawn against Ross County. Another first division side. Not too bad a draw really. Right into our next league game, we are at home to Motherwell, who are sitting third. I field what is my usual strong 11, and we go on to win the game 5-2. Barbosa, Vicari scoring twice, one of them being a penalty, and Suffo and Barlow getting on the score sheet. With St Johnston winning against bottom place Alawa, it means there's still a 20 point deficit between us and them. A few days later, Ipswich transfer bid for Skrekas, 475,000. It's our young Greek right mid who hasn't really played a lot of football for us, but when has played, has really impressed, obviously. And that 475,000 is his minimum fee, so I can't negotiate at all and have to accept. Skrekas doesn't think about it long and immediately accepts the transfer, 475,000 coming our way. We have a league game away to Ross County, once again mixing my first 11 up, and we go on to win the game 2-1. Barlow and Polios scoring, and Smart of course picking up an injury. St Johnston were beaten 4-2 by Falkirk, which means we are now 23 points clear at the top of the league. With Skrekas going out the door and possibly maybe others, thought I'd bring in some cover, so I've got a few lone E's coming in. First up is Michael Standing from Bradford, a mid-right centre, fairly handy looking player. We also have Millwall's Mark Phillips, a defender slash striker centre, very odd, but yes, very very decent looking player, and only 21 years old. And rounding off the lone E signings, we have Perpetuini, Perpe yeah, Perpetuini, a defensive mid-right left from Gillingham. He'll hopefully give us much needed cover for the left mid role. Back to league matters and we're at home to Falkirk, I'm fielding a fairly strong side against them as they will be riding high after beating St Johnston, and we just hold on to defeat them 3-2. Fraser grabbing a goal and Vicari scoring twice, all goals coming in early and we do just enough to defend that lead. And with St Johnston winning their game that means 23 games played and 23 points ahead in the league. Johansson picking up a pretty bad injury from that game, two months he's out for, so Piri will have to come in as cover. Fraser, to a lesser extent, is out for just three weeks. Our final league game of this video comes against Cowden Beath, and we go on to have a much easier time against them, winning 3-0. Suffo, Fabrini and Perpetuini all grabbing a goal apiece. Cowden Beath making it even easier for us, having a man sent off nice and early. St Johnson were beaten 3-2 by Motherwell, and Motherwell leapfrogged them to go into second, so we are now 25 points ahead of Motherwell. We'll finish off this video with the cup game against Ross County. I would love to be able to defend our reign as Scottish Cup champions, so I'm fielding a very strong side against them. In goal, Royce, back four, Peary, Hancock, Haywood, Carlisle. Barbosa, Whitley, Millie and Vicari in midfield, up front Fabrini and Suffo. A nice strong side and yeah I have been a little bit worried coming up to this game, haven't really been playing brilliantly, more so defensively we've been really weak in the past few games and yeah as soon as I say that, Vicari scores for Ross County, uh, yeah. I don't know if my tactic's slowly being cracked, oh we've equalised Millie by the AI, I'm not sure if that's a thing, I have discussed this before, but 
my play hasn't been brilliant, we're not absolutely hammering teams, it's only a few games, I'm probably jumping the gun, I'm probably just panicking slightly going, oh we're, we're, we're only slightly beating teams and you know, I'm, I am, I know I'm panicking but I don't know, I've just, we've not been playing that well and I don't want to, oh they, I thought they equalised, thankfully they didn't equalised, I thought they went ahead even, and we go ahead instead, Whitley getting the top corner with that one, 2-1, come on, let's just go on and absolutely hammer them, get into that next round, I really want to try and get to the final again in this cup, would be lovely, imagine we had European football next season as well, although I would be really concentrating on getting a very comfortable league position next season in the SPL, I feel by defeating the likes of Dundee United, I feel as if we could get, I don't think we'd be struggling too much next season, and yes I'm already talking, we, ha we are basically promoted, and give our loanies a, a, a wee game there, actually yeah, I messed up there, uh, let's go back, so yeah Phillips he can come on for the booked Hancock, Standon can come on for Whitley as Whitley's tiring, and will I put Perpetuini on right now? Actually no, I think I'll leave it, I'll, it's a bit early and we're only 2-1 up so I'll leave the last sub till the last few minutes. Uh, about now actually. But yeah, um, I don't know if anybody else knows about the cracking off tactics and AIs and things and... Uh, they get an equaliser right at the end, Santana in the 90th minute. What an absolute kick in the stains. If you are enjoying this series then please give it a like as it helps me out somehow. I don't I don't really know. Also I have other videos on this channel, not just Champ Man, although it is mainly Champ Man. Like just recently for Halloween I put out a condemned wee video review thing and if you know, if you feel like it, just have have a wee gander at that and if you like what you see give it a wee like and maybe I could do more of that ilk. Anywho, enough babbling, thanks for watching guys. Bye!